Uh, hey guys, it's Forbidden X, and I'm here to show you a uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro unboxing. Uh, I got this Intensity Pro to do streaming and recording from my 360. I started to use an Easy Cap before I got the Blackmagic, but this wasn't really going according to plan. I could only record black and white, and I use a monitor, so getting it hooked up to my monitor was a big problem too had to use a VGA converter, I had to use a VGA out instead of component cables or HDMI but with the Intensity Pro I just use either component cables and then feed it back into my monitor through HDMI because it doesn't have the component inputs anyways, uh, here's the box, it's pretty small nothing too interesting about it, it's a box and Inside the box doesn't have like that. Nah, it's a different kind of box. Oh, cool. They have like little tabs that you can pull out. Uh, this is the card itself. It's fairly small. PCI E slot, one HDMI input, HDMI output, and the breaker cable. You have a thank you for choosing black magic design for your work and software manual I'll go through the software in a different video and this one's just for unboxing and here's the paper cable Ooh. Uh, this goes into this slot on the Blackmagic Intensity Pro and you have your inputs and you have your outputs. Let's see. Red, green, blue. I think it's split like this. Oh. Anyways, yeah. They they're all marked. I'll be using this to put this up into my Xbox. I mean, I'm going to use my Xbox, component cables from my Xbox, into here, and then HDMI out back into my monitor, because my monitor takes in HDMI. It's the evil monitor from 2K9. And along with that, I also got this Xenix 502 mixer. Uh, this way, I'll be able to commentate and even say stuff while I'm playing my video games or streaming and recording. I pass in the audio cables into the mixer and from there goes into my line on my computer. This is the packaging. It's another box. It's a huge, huge manual. Yeah, it's a pretty big manual. You don't have a sticker that they gave to you. I believe it's a German company that made it. I'm not too fond. I'm not too fond. I don't really know much about audio mixers and stuff like that, but. Here's how it looks like itself. It's fairly small and compact. It's not that big. Mm, I honestly don't know what any of these knobs do. All I know is I'm going to use this and this, and possibly this one if I wanted to listen to it before. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty solid. Looks nice and built. So. And it's not USB powered or anything, it's powered on its own. It uses DC power. Yes, this goes in there. And then, yeah, yeah, pretty interesting to play around with these. So that's pretty much it. That's the Black Magic Intensity Pro again. 
And here is the Zenix Lava 2. I'll probably show you an installation video of the Blackmagic Intensity Pro and the software videos later on, but for now, that's all the unboxing.